Level 3 training, rescue through deviation. So, I picked up my stupid friend here. He got really injured, he doesn't have a helmet. So, what I do here now is uh, I upside down all the way until I got my anchor in eye level with the deviation anchor here. What I need to do then is uh, I reach the BFK, get the ropes underneath here. And the red rope, which is here, my backup rope, will under the deviation anchor become my working rope. In order to do that, I need to seal my cache of this ID like this. And same as always, I just get it in the rescue strap carabiner and my own lower D ring. Attach the red rope. Under, just tighten it a tiny bit. The other rope, which is the blue rope, which is here, the working rope, would be the backup rope underneath. Right now, my stupid casualty only had a, a backup designed for one person load. But hey, I don't have anything else, so I just uh, I have to do that. Hopefully, there's enough with rope stretch above so we don't get too much peak info, impact force if something happens. So I attach that to myself, to my sternal D-ring, like that, and attach it under here, like that. Now comes the funny part. I need to swing myself slightly and control in, so I get under my new deviation anchor. Up, and up. This old man sounds, you don't have to do that. But I do that because I'm 38 pretty soon. All right, so now I got a lot of tension here under the deviation. What I do then is I remove my backer from the red rope and put it on top of the blue rope here, which is here, the working rope. And I try to lower myself slowly and control so I end up under the deviation anchor. And now comes the explanation why do I have two backups? Because some people say, oh, that's funny. Yeah, it is funny. But look at what happens when I first I remove my deviation carabiner, friction carabiner, this is, put it on the new one. Then, look at this, when I open my ID, like this, and remove the rope, look at all this slack. If I didn't have this one, this one would go down to a fall factor two. Even worse, in a shock absorber designed for one person load. So that's, that's not good enough. So what I do is, just to make everything Put the rope here into the ID. Then I remove this thing, which, are, which is only designed for one person load. Where you go. And I take the, the better one with a big shock pack and put it underneath here. Yay. And of course, remove this ID, leave it hanging, pump. Remember, if you got a BFK, remove it, you don't need it. Okay, final check, rope management, one on each side, no funny tangle tangle parts, friction carabiner, hand on your, under your ASAP. And you could know.